Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to have a look at some pictorial strategies for understanding the place value of each digit in a four digit number, as well as how to read and write them. Now I'm going to show you the two pictorial ways of explaining the place value of each digit in a four digit number. The first way we'll use this grid, and the second way we'll use the spider diagram. Both ways are perfectly suitable to use. It's up to you to be able to choose the one that you like the most. So this is a blank layout of the grid that we're going to use, and you can see that it shows the different parts of the number, starting with the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. I'm going to put a number inside the grid using the counters, and I want to see if you can work out what number I'm showing. You'll need to know exactly what the value of each of the counters is so that you can work out what number's inside. If you're not sure, just look back at our concrete video, and that might help you out. See if you can work out the number that I'm going to display. Okay, so let's first look at the value. Here I've got one, two, three, four, five ones. So the value here is five. I've got four counters with a 10 written on, which means the value is 40 because I've got four tens. I've also got four counters with 100 written, which means that the value is 400. 100, 200, 300, 400. And finally, I've got three counters of 1,000 written on, which means the value is 3,000. As you know, this isn't the number that we're going to write down or read because it's way too long. We need to write it down so it has four digits inside. So we have five, we have four tens, we have four hundreds, and we have three thousands. So the number we've got here is 3,445. Let's take a look at another example. Here you can see I've made a new number. Let's start off by looking at the value. So we look at the value of each of the counters inside the box. Here we have two ones, so the value is two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So the value is 60. Let's count the hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So our value here is 700. And here in our thousands, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. Our value is 6,000. So what does that make our four digit number? Two, six tens, seven hundreds, and six thousands. That's 6,762. This grid strategy is great when you've got all the counters inside it because you can count the value of each counter very easily so that you can work out which four digit number you need to write. Next, we're gonna have a look at a strategy that's really good when you've got the four digit number written down, but we will need to place the counters underneath it. Let's have a go. In this strategy, we have the four digit number written down first. This means that you need to think about the amount of counters that you need to put down to show the value. Let's try this example. First job though, we're gonna read the number. We've got 2,538. Spend a little bit of time thinking about the value of each of those digits in the four digit number. Okay, so we've got eight ones. So I need to put eight ones down underneath. Now 
we've got three tens down, which is 30. There are five hundreds, which is five hundred. And we've got two thousands, which is two thousand. So here we have the four digit number as well as the counters showing the value of each of those numbers inside it. Let's look at this new example by saying the number first. It's 3012. Notice that I didn't say any hundreds because there are no hundreds inside the number. I'm going to place the counters down now and you must really make sure that they match the value of each of the digits. So I've got two ones. I've got 110, which is 10. I've got no hundreds, so I don't put any hundreds down. And I've got a three in the thousands, which is 3,000. As I said earlier, making sure that the value of the numbers matches the digits is the most important thing that you need to remember. And if you're finding that difficult, you could try the other grid strategy or go back to the concrete strategy until you feel comfortable.